Hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes, I see waves. Um, I'm Emma. I'm from the San Pedro Bible Fellowship. And um, my testimony starts from when I was first born. My parents met through the fellowship and um, they, I was always told what I had to do to enter the kingdom of heaven, go up to the prayer line, pray for the Holy Spirit. So it was just a thing that became kind of a routine to me as a little girl. Um, and so for many years, I was just praying for the Holy Spirit and um, it just never came. And then at the age of eight, I went up to the prayer line like every other time. And I think this time, I had this fear in me, like if I didn't receive the Holy Spirit, like I seriously was not going to heaven with my parents and um, and I wouldn't have what everyone else had. So I went up and something was a little different. So nothing happened in that moment, but it was a prayer and fast. So later we broke the fast and then had some fellowship. And I was asked if I wanted to have some more prayer. And I said, yes. And within a couple of minutes, this language came out of my mouth that I'd never been taught before. And I started crying tears of joy right away because I finally received the Holy Spirit that I've been praying for like my whole entire life. So, and it's amazing to look back on because I remember as a little girl constantly praying for the Spirit and nothing would happen. And then this one day, it finally happened to me and it's in my memory forever. And it's something that I can look back on and tell my friends, like, I, my parents showed me in scripture and everyone around me had the same thing. But in that moment, it was proven to me and there's nothing better than a personal experience. So it's such a blessing to have that. And then the following Sunday, I went under the waters of baptism and it's been a good walk in the Lord. I'm definitely learning a lot every day that I walk with him. Um, one of the turning points in my walk was when I was about, uh, like 13 years old, 12, 13, maybe a little bit later. I don't know. Um, but my parents got divorced and I just remember at the time, it just felt like everything was just going downhill in my life. Um, because of the divorce, we lost, we moved out of our nice house that was up the street from the ocean. A few people in the fellowship had moved away, sold my dog and moved schools. And of course my mom was out of fellowship and my family was broken. So, you know, even as a little girl then, I just remember crying out to the Lord one night, just like, why is this happening? Like what, like I never did anything wrong. This is my parents' fault, not mine. And um, I fell asleep that night and I woke up the next morning and everything was perfectly fine. And um, I was just at peace with everything. And ever since that point, like every day after every little trial that followed after, I was just like, it's okay. Like God's giving me the strength to get through this. Um, and with the divorce, it's like a ripple effect. Like there's always little trials to follow. Your parents get remarried you get used to the new person and, you know, just these little things that you would expect. And the Lord just has helped me through every single one of those. And it's just amazing to look back on and know that God was my rock through all of that. Um, yeah. And yeah, when I say turning point in my walk in the Lord, um, that's when I started to like read and pray on my own and really build this relationship with him because my whole life, it was always relying on what my friends were doing and what, my parents were doing it was never me and the Lord. And now to go through that, I look back and it's like, there's nothing more important to learn in your walk in the Lord than knowing how much God loves you. And I feel like that's the one thing that's kept me going through out all these years is just remembering like, if I leave God, like I am leaving the most amazing love I'll ever know. And it's just amazing to know that. And yeah, that's where it gets emotional, so I'm just going to continue. <laughs> um, um, through my life, like with college too, he's really blessed that I graduated high school and I barely passed. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to handle college. There's just no way. And I'm going to be in debt. There, I'm not going to like this at all. Um, so I prayed about it. And every exam, if I had to get a tutor, I had like the best tutors. And 
the Lord just made sure I've passed like all my classes. I've gotten scholarships that weren't based on my um, school grades. So that was good. And it was better than some scholarship pe people receive based on their grades. So that was totally the Lord. Um, and currently, I guess a recent testimony is during these really weird times with COVID and all the fires that are happening um, and just all the corruption that we're seeing in this world. I haven't been fearful at all. It's just like, okay, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Hopefully God comes back soon. Um, and I just see my friends and I work in a coffee shop and all the customers come in and they're just like, oh, it's pretty scary. And I'm like, yeah, maybe for you guys, but I'm definitely looking forward to the end. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> the victory, of course. And um, yeah, and so it's just amazing to have that peace from God through all that, just knowing that we know what's going to happen after this, and we know God's plan, and we're right with him, and to also just hopefully be that shining light in my friend's lives just to be like she's so at peace with it like why is she and it's like God's in my life and that's why um I have two friends that I've had like really good conversations about the word of God and just have gone into full detail with them and you know they like they throw it off like okay like whatever but every time I hang out with them which is quite a bit it's always brought up like God and like, oh, well, Emma believes this. And they talk to their friends about what I believe. And I'm like, it's obviously in your heart. So let's go pray right now. But um, hopefully the Lord just continues to move on them. And I know he has a plan. And despite everything that has happened from moving to Fresno to the divorce, I like look at my life now and I just feel that I'm supposed to be here and I'm content with that. And um, I'm just excited to see what the Lord has in store for all of us the next year, whenever he plans on coming. But um, yeah. <laughs>